I will preface this by saying we are in a world where we kind of make jokes about coincidences, but coincidences do in fact happen. But boy, this is a tough one for me to look at without an eyebrow now after seeing the picture and think this absolutely was total coincidence. But nonetheless, it, it is, for everybody trying to claim Bubba Wallace is Jesse Smollett's stop, we know he's not. We know when you look at that, we've all seen that that horrible image our whole lives growing up. You don't look at that image and the first thing that jumps out is pull-down rope. We think of that as a noose and what a noose represents. And on top of that, if other pull-down ropes were there, another 10 of them besides this, and they were found in other shapes, and you can't tell me that this is the only way to tie a pull-down rope without the person tying it in the back of their mind thinking, oh, this looks like a noose. Bogus, I don't know if you continue, and I know you made that sports minute, and you want to blame NASCAR or, or pull back a little bit and understand if you've seen the picture that, of course, they would rush to that judgment because look at the way this picture looked. Yeah, and it's funny you mentioned the sportsman because I have to do another one today, and it's going to be a pseudo-apology to NASCAR for being critical of them Monday and then Tuesday. Well, I guess Tuesday, because that's when the FBI told us it was not a direct hate crime towards Bubba Wallace. And, you know, my frustration in the moment was not... It was, more, it was because they opened the door for idiots to be idiots about a very serious situation by writing the statement that they did with no room for any other alternative than that somebody had put this in the garage of Bubba Wallace to send Bubba Wallace a message. And because we had to hear from people now who had the, op the slightest of openings... As ludicrous as it was, but they could open their mouth and say, see, I told you, this is a hoax. This wasn't this. This wasn't that. This was nonsense. It's, you know, it ruined what we saw on the track on Monday with everybody else walking Bubba Wallace to the start line. Like, that was my frustration because I take this whole thing so seriously and it's so evil and it's so real that I didn't want in any way to have the actual, the good part of the fight, what we're trying to fix in this country, be overshadowed by poor word choice and even you know we heard Steve Phelps say and that's all I said earlier in the week is you just throw one or two like qualifying words in there we think it's a noose if it's a noose if someone did this they're going to be out of NASCAR forever but they spoke matter of factly as if there was a note next to the noose that said this is for Bubba Wallace because we hate him but when you see the picture I get it I, I mean what what else are you supposed to think that that is